to apo enzyme the best example is heme moiety of peroxidase heme moiety of peroxidase is popularly called prosthetic group so prosthetic group is the organic cofactor which is very tightly attached to the apo enzyme inorganic cofactor associated loosely with the apo enzyme is wrong organic cofactor associated loosely with the apo enzyme is coenzyme inorganic cofactor attached tightly with apo enzyme is wrong organic cofactor attached or associated with uh, tightly associated with apo enzyme is correct <coughs> tpp is tpp means thymine pyrophosphate it is obtained from a special what you call vitamin thymine it is not a prosthetic group it is not an inorganic cofactor it is not the protein part of a conjugate enzyme apo enzyme so tpp is basically a coenzyme loosely attached to apo enzyme enzymes are hydrophilic hydrophobic lipophilic lipophobic enzymes are basically hydrophilic they absorb water so they are basically hydrophilic enzymes are basically hydrophilic the outstanding property of any enzyme is the outstanding property of any enzyme is its specificity why because amylase acts only on carbohydrates lipase acts only on lipids sucrase acts only on sucrose sucrase cannot go and act on lipids sucrase cannot go and act on carbide amylase cannot come and act on sucrose lipase cannot go and act on carbohydrate that means an enzyme once it is formed its function is designed that means an enzyme has to show only one prominent function it has to show activity only at that place it is not showing its activity anywhere anywhere elsewhere so the outstanding property of any enzyme is its specificity not colloidal nature not height or turnover number or not thermolabile its specificity its specificity is the outstanding property of almost all enzyme a substrate with carbon carbon bonds can split in the absence of water by the action of there is an enzyme by name lyase which helps in breaking the compounds without the addition of water the best example is arginosuccinic acid in the presence of arginosuccinase enzyme produces arginin and fumaric acid arginin and fumaric acid so arginosuccinase comes under the category lyase what is lyase the enzyme which breaks the carbon carbon that means the bond between carbon without the addition of water or in the absence of water if it is in the presence of water it is called hydrolase but here a substrate carbon carbon bonds can be split in the absence of water by the action of lyases this is a fourth class in iub system iub international union of biochemists classified enzymes into six major classes oxido reductases transferases hydrolases lyases isomerases and ligases are synthetases so this comes under fourth class in iub system the enzyme code for the enzyme that forms glucose 6 phosphate from glucose the enzyme that forms glucose 6 phosphate from glucose is glucose 6 phosphotransferase glucose 6 phosphotransferase so enzyme code for this is 2712 2712 is the enzyme code of enzyme that forms glucose 6 phosphate from glucose 2 stands for the class 7 stands for the subclass 1 stands for the sub subclass the last 2 stands for the serial number of that enzyme in that particular sub subclass so answer is 3 
the enzyme code in the enzyme code 2712 one indicates one always indicates sub subclass what is that sub subclass is not transferases it is class not phosphotransferases it is subclass it is attachment of phosphate group to the oh group attachment of phosphate group to the oh group not serial number the last two indicates the serial number so attachment of phosphate group to the oh group is for this so third option kinases belongs to the following subclass kinases following to subclass means seventh subclass kinases always comes under transferases transferases belongs to kinases or kinases belongs to transferases and they belongs to the subclass seventh subclass third one in the reaction catalyzed by glutamine synthetase atp is utilized for the addition of this group to glutamic acid so glutamic acid plus ammonia in the presence of glutamine synthetase which is a ligase enzyme utilizing atp produces glutamine an amino acid called glutamine it comes under the category ligases or synthetases so here atp energy is utilized to produce new bonds in the reaction catalyzed by glutamine synthetase atp is utilized for the addition of this group to glutamic acid is first one not carboxyl or methyl or aldehyde group ammonium ammonium to be added micronutrients in the is the cofactors of micronutrients are the cofactors of catalase iron is a macronutrient carbonic anhydrase zinc is a macronutrient hexokinase is activated by magnesium magnesium is not micronutrient it is macronutrient so micronutrient is the cofactor of catalase because iron carbonic anhydrase because zinc not hexokinase hexokinase is activated by magnesium magnesium is not a micronutrient it is macronutrient so micronutrient is the cofactor of catalase and carbonic anhydrase hexokinase magnesium so answer is 1 and 2 organic part of enzyme is organic part of enzyme is protein is also an organic part so apo enzyme definitely organic part which is loosely attached to the apo enzyme is coenzyme so second one the organic part which is very tightly attached to the apo enzyme is prosthetic group so organic part of an enzyme is apo enzyme coenzyme prosthetic group so answer 1 2 3 apoenzyme is a protein so organic part coenzyme is an organic part which is very loosely attached to apoenzyme prosthetic group is an organic part which is very tightly attached to the apoenzyme so organic part of enzymes is apoenzyme coenzyme and prosthetic group answer is 4 organic non protein part of an enzyme organic non protein part of an enzyme will be <coughs> organic non protein part of an enzyme will be cofactor coenzyme and prosthetic group so 2 and 3 properties of enzymes are properties of enzymes are sensitive to high concentrations of a substrate is wrong it is sensitive to ph and sensitive to temperature sensitive to high concentration of substrate is wrong it is not the property of enzyme sensitivity to ph sensitivity to ph is an important concept ph is very much controls enzyme for example the pepsin ph is 2.0 peroxidase at which ph it is active means 5 amylase urease catalase is 7 and trypsin is 8 so at 2 ph pepsin becomes 
in active. Peroxidase the pH sensitivity to 5, amylase, urease, catalase the sensitivity goes up to 7 and for trypsin it is 8, this is sensitivity to pH. Then sensitive to temperature, sensitive to temperature is thermolability, it is called thermolability. At high temperatures and low temperatures enzymes become inactive because they are basically made up of proteins. At high temperatures and low temperatures enzymes become inactive because they are basically made up of proteins. This property is widely used in refrigerators. The food materials are kept in refrigerator fresh for many days. Why? The enzymes present in the food material or any fungal spore or bacterial spore falls on the food material, the enzymes in that spores become inactive at that temperature. So, refrigerator is the place where food is stored based on which property of enzymes? Thermolability, sensitive to temperature. So, properties of enzymes are sensitive to pH and sensitive to temperature 2 and 3, second option. Match the following and choose the correct match. List 1 ferments, gymase, urease, pepsin, Haldane, Pasteur, Northrop, Buchner, Sumner. So, ferments always Pasteur, ferments special chemicals present in the yeast cells Controlling the concept of fermentation is ferments. Controlling the concept of fermentation is ferments. So, Louis Pasteur ferments. Gymase. Gymase by Buchner. The term Gymase for an enzyme was coined by Buchner. Urease. Urease enzyme was obtained in a pure crystalline form from jack bean plants by Sumner. JB Sumner and pepsin. Pepsin, trypsin are the enzymes which are studied by Northrop and proved the protein nature of enzymes. So, ferments always Louis Pasteur, Zymase Edward Buchner, Urease, Urease is by J B Sumner and Pepsin by Northrop. So, A 2, B 4, C 5, D 3, answer is 1 for this matching. Match the following and choose the correct match. List 1, list 2. List 1 is conjugated enzyme, cofactor, coenzyme, prosthetic group. List 2 is heme moiety, thymine pyrophosphate, simple enzyme, magnesium and holoenzyme. Conjugated enzyme is also called holoenzyme, A5. Cofactor is magnesium which activates hexokinase, B4. Coenzyme is thymine pyrophosphate, C3. Prosthetic group is heme moiety of peroxidase enzyme D1. So, A5, B4, C2, D1. Conjugated enzyme is holoenzyme. Cofactor is magnesium. Coenzyme is thymine pyrophosphate. Prosthetic group is heme moiety. So, first option for this. Another match the following. Malate dehydrogenase catalase, peroxidase, carbonic anhydrase, malate dehydrogenase, catalase, peroxidase, carbonic anhydrase. For this answer A3, malate dehydrogenase is Fa, NAD plus, malate dehydrogenase always removes hydrogen from malic acid and add to NADH2. Catalase, iron, catalase is activated by iron. Then peroxidase, peroxidase is heme moiety, peroxidase is heme moiety, carbonic anhydrase is zinc, Zn, Zn is second is manganese is written, but it is not manganese, it is zinc. So, answer is 3. Match the following and choose the correct match. Menzyme and optimum pH are sensitivity to pH. I just now I wrote the tabular form. Pepsin, peroxidase, catalase, trypsin. For pepsin it is 2, 2.0. For peroxidase it is 5, 5.0. For amylase, urease, catalase it is 7. And for trypsin it is 8. So, answer is 4, A4. Pepsin 4, 2. Peroxidase 5, 1. Catalase 7, 2, trypsin 8, 3. 
So, A4, B1, C2, D3. So, these are all sensitivity to pH means they are at that pH they show maximum activity or sensitivity to pH. For pepsin it is 2, for peroxidate it is 5, for amylase, urease, catalase, for all the 3 it is 7 and for trypsin it is 8. So, for this question answer is 4. Now, an assertion reasoning. Hexokinase is a conjugated enzyme. Definitely hexokinase is a conjugated enzyme because it shows a protein part apoenzyme and non-protein part cofactor and it has manganese as cofactor. This is wrong. It has magnesium as cofactor, not manganese, magnesium as cofactor. So, hexokinase is a conjugated enzyme is correct, but it has manganese as cofactor is wrong. Suppose it is given as it has magnesium as cofactor, first option. As it is given as it has manganese as cofactor, it is third option. A is correct or is false. FAD is a coenzyme, flavin adenine dinucleotide is FAD, it is a coenzyme correct which comes from a special amino what you call vitamin called riboflavin. FAD is organic substance associated loosely with apoenzyme. Coenzyme is said to be a special non-protein part attached loosely. So, FAD is coenzyme because it is loosely attached. There is a method by which apoenzyme and coenzyme are removed from holoenzyme. That method is called dialysis. So, dialysis is a method by which apoenzyme and coenzyme can be separated from a holoenzyme. So, apoenzyme and coenzyme can be separated from a holoenzyme by dialysis. So, here assertion is FAD flavin adenine dinucleotide is a coenzyme. Reason flavin adenine dinucleotide is an organic substance associated loosely with apoenzyme. So, definitely if it is tightly attached to apoenzyme it is called prosthetic group. When it is attached loosely to the apoenzyme it is called coenzyme. So, FAD is a coenzyme why because it is loosely attached to the apoenzyme. So, A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. Enzymes provide larger space area for various chemical reactions. Enzymes are always providing larger surface area to the various chemical reactions definitely. Enzymes are basically made up of proteins. So, because they are made up of proteins they have the capacity of providing larger surface area to the various chemical reactions. So, enzymes provide larger surface area to the various chemical reactions is correct. Why? Because they are basically made up of proteins. Without enzymes, chemical reactions will become slow. Enzyme control a special energy called activation energy. What is activation energy? The activation energy is one. It is represented like this. This is enzyme activity and this is activation energy. This is called transition state. These are called products and this is called substrate. This is called ground state. The activation energy is energy which takes the ground state of a substrate to transition state so that it easily converts into products. When enzyme is not there, the taken activation energy is maximum. So, it sometimes substrate also disintegrates. When an enzyme is there, it, this is without enzyme and this is with enzyme. When enzyme is there, the utilized activation energy will be less and substrate is easily converted into products. Best example is catalyze enzyme present in peroxisomes. When catalyze enzyme is not there, peroxisomes break the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen by taking around 18,000 calories of energy. If the same peroxidase enzyme is there in that reaction, instead of taking 18,000 calories, they take only 5,500 calories of energy. See how much difference it is. 18,000 calories are taken when catalyze is not there. 5,500 calories are taken when catalyze is there. This is called activation energy. So, enzymes provide larger surface of various chemical reactions by reducing what? Activation energy. These are made up of proteins. So, both A and R are correct. R is the 
correct explanation of A, first option. Hexokinate cannot phosphorylate ribose. Hexokinate cannot phosphorylate ribose. Enzyme show substrate specificity. And hexokinase phosphorylate only glucose, not ribose sugars or whatever sugars. Why? Because enzyme show substrate specificity. The outstanding property of almost all enzymes is specificity. So, this assertion reasoning is based on the outstanding property of enzymes. Hexokinase cannot phosphorylate ribose is correct. Why hexokinate cannot phosphorylate ribose is because enzyme show substrate specificity. Hence, the answer will be A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A, first option. <coughs> enzymes are active even in extremely small amounts. Enzymes are active even in extremely small amounts is called as TON. TON is turnover number. The number of substrate molecules the number of substrate molecules converted into products by one mole of an enzyme in one minute is called turnover number. Number of substrate molecules converted into products by one mole of an enzyme in one minute is called turnover number it is calculated by enzyme by substrate into time. So, when you want to know the turnover number of an enzyme, you have to take the formula enzyme by substrate into time. So, what is turnover number? The number of substrate molecules converted into products by 1 mole of an enzyme by 1 mole of an enzyme in 1 minute. So, enzymes are active in extremely small quantities is correct because they show high turnover number is also correct because of in extreme smaller amounts they show high turnover number. So, answer both A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. Enzymes are thermolabile. Enzymes are thermolabile means they are very sensitivity to temperature, very sensitive to temperature. At high temperatures and low temperatures, enzymes become inactive that is called enzymes are thermolabile. Why enzymes are thermolabile? Because they are basically collides. So, enzymes are thermolabile. Why they are thermolabile means they are collides. So, both A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A, first option. At different pH enzymes show different degree of dissociations. At different pH enzymes show different degree of dissociation. Just now we explained pepsin sensitivity to 2, peroxidase sensitivity to 5, amylase, urease, catalase sensitivity to 7, trypsin sensitivity to 8. So, at different pH enzymes show different degrees of dissociations is correct. Activity of an enzyme is controlled by hydrogen ion concentration. pH is nothing but hydrogen ion concentration. So, at different pH, enzymes show different degrees of association, dissociations because activity of an enzyme is controlled by hydrogen ion concentration. So, A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. Now, scientist enzyme organism. Pasture ferments bacterium is wrong, yeast cells. Pasteur discovered special chemical present in the yeast cells that is helping in fermentation concepts. He called them simply ferments. Yeast is not a bacterium, it is a fungi. So, organism is wrong here. Buchner zymase yeast cells. Buchner coined the term zymase to the ferments or enzyme present in the yeast cells. So, scientist enzyme organism all are correct. Sumner urease jacobin. Sumner extracted urease enzyme in a pure crystalline form from jacobin plants. Northrop trypsin nepenthesis is wrong. 
Northrop explained about trypsin, but not in Nepenthes plant. So, here the correct items are Buchner, Zymase, yeast cells is correct, Sumner, Urease, Jack Bean plants is correct. So, answer is 2. Now, urease cofactor, urease cofactor optimum pH, enzyme cofactor optimum pH, catalase not catalase, first is urease chlorine 7, urease controlling by chlorine is absent and its optimum pH is 7 is also wrong. Catalase iron 7, just now we explained amylase, urease, catalase the sensitivity to pH is at 7. So, catalase iron 7 is correct. Hexokinase magnesium 1. Hexokinase is cofactor is magnesium, but its optimum pH is 1 is not given in the syllabus. So, it is wrong. Peroxidase heme mighty and 5. Peroxidase heme mighty and 5. Peroxidase heme mighty is correct mighty of peroxidase enzyme is there and its optimum pH is 5. So, answer is 2 and 4, fourth option 2 and 4. Next, type of conversion enzyme involved and class of enzyme. Malate converted into oxaloacetic acid by dehydrogenase, it is first class, perfectly correct because malic acid takes in the presence of NAD plus, in the presence of malate dehydrogenase produces oxaloacetic acid and liberates NADH2. That means, hydrogen removed from malic acid is attached to the NADH2. It is done by first class of enzymes oxidoreductases. First class of enzyme oxidoreductases. So, first one is correct what malate converted into oxaloacetic acid. The enzyme involved is dehydrogenase and it belongs to first class, correct. Dehydrogenase belongs to oxidoreductases. Aspartate converts into oxaloacetate, transaminase third class, wrong. Aspartate is not converted into oxaloacetate, it is converted into oxaloacetic acid and alpha ketoglutaric acid, but it is not belonging to third class hydrolysis, it belongs to second class transferases, transaminase belongs to transferases, not third class, second class of enzymes. Glutamic acid converts into glutamine in the presence of synthetase fifth class. Glutamic acid converts into glutamine is correct, in the presence of synthetase is correct, but fifth class is wrong, it is sixth class that is ligases or synthetases. Glucose converts into glucose 6-phosphate in the presence of kinase and second class, perfectly correct. Transferases includes transaminases and kinases. Kinases means glucose plus ATP in the presence of exokinase gives rise to glucose 6-phosphate. That means the phosphate present in the ATP is added to the substrate. So, malate becoming oxalastic acid, dehydrogenase, first class oxidoreductases is correct. Glucose converting into glucose 6 phosphate in the presence of kinase, second class transferases is correct, 1 and 4 are correct. Aspartate converting into oxalastic acid, transaminase is correct, but it is not third class, it is second class. Glutamic acid converting into glutamine in the presence of synthetase, fifth class is wrong, it is sixth class. So, it is according to IUB system tabular form. So, malate and glucose 1 and 4 are correct, hence the option is 1. Next, the optimum pH for these enzymes is neutral pH. The optimum pH for these enzymes is neutral pH. For catalase, for catalase it is around 7, peroxidase and urease. Peroxidase sorry urease and catalase. Peroxidase it is only 5, 5 means acidic. Optimum pH of these enzymes 7 and 8, 7 is optimum pH or neutral pH. Urease is 7, catalase is 7, 7 is regarded as neutral, less than 7 is acidic, more than 7 is basic. 
So definitely optimum pH for these enzymes is neutral pH means for amylase, urease and catalase it is 7. So answer will be 2 and 3. For peroxidase it is 5. It is not neutral. It is acidic. 2 is still more acidic. 8 is basic. So 7 means neutral pH. So definitely urease and catalase. Second option 2 and 3. Dehydrogenases, reductases, oxidases, kinases adds hydrogen atoms to oxygen, transfer phosphate groups, remove oxygen atom, transfer amino group, add hydrogen to coenzyme. So, dehydrogenation will be adding hydrogen to coenzyme, just now I wrote malic acid converting into oxalastic acid. Reductases removes oxygen atom, they convert nitrites to nitrates by removing oxygen, so reductases. Oxidases, oxidases means add hydrogen atoms to hydrogen to add hydrogen atoms to oxygen, glycolic acid oxidase becomes glyoxylic acid and H2O2 is formed. Then kinases, kinases always do transfers phosphate group. So answer is 3, A5, B3, C1, D2. Glutamine synthetase, nitrate reductase, trypsin and arginoxacinase, we have to identify the classes. Glutamine synthetase is sixth class, ligases are synthetases. Nitrate reductase is first class because it comes under oxidases, that means oxido reductases. Then trypsin, trypsin comes under third class, that is transferases. And arginosuccinases comes under fourth class, lyases. So, A5, B1, C3, D4. The enzyme belonging to second class as given by enzyme commission. The enzyme belonging to second class as given by enzyme commission of IUB International Union of Biochemists is transaminases and kinases. Transaminases and kinases. What is second class? Class 2 is transferases. In this transferases, you will get two classes transaminases and kinases. These two belongs to transferases. So, these enzyme belongs to second class as given by enzyme commission. Enzyme commission classified enzymes into six major classes. Class 1 is oxidoreductase, class 2 is transferases, class 3 is hydrolyzes, class 4 is lyases, class 5 is isomerases and class 6 is ligases or synthetases. In these classes again subclasses, again sub subclasses and finally serial number or numerical order. So these enzymes belongs to second class as given by enzyme commission. What is second class? Transferases. What are those subclasses? One is transaminases, the other is kinases because phosphatases belongs to hydrolases. In the presence of hydrogen, phosphatases remove phosphate from the substrate. So phosphatases belongs to third class. So here 1 and 3 is the answer, third option. These enzymes break the bonds but not make the bonds. These enzymes break the bonds but not make the bonds. Making the bond is the property of ligases by utilizing energy from ATP. Hydrolyzes and lyases only break the bonds and produce new compounds. So these enzymes break the bonds but not make the bonds are hydrolyzes and lyases. So 1 and 2 will be the answer. Hydrolyzes and lyases. Hydrolyzes break the compounds by addition of water. For example, Complex starches are converted into simple carbohydrates. Lipids are converted into fatty acids and glycerol. Proteins are converted into amino acids. Amides are converted into ammonia and urease. So like that, lyases also break the arginosuccinic acid in the presence of arginosuccinase becomes arginine and fumaric acid. So the enzymes break the bonds but not make the bonds are hydrolases and lyases, whereas ligases, these utilizes the energy from ATP and helps in the formation of bonds, formation of new compounds. So, first option. Arrange the following contributions in chronological order. First what is discovered, next to what is discovered, next to what is discovered, something like that. First discovery is ferments by Louis Pasteur. He took yeast cells and conducted fermentation experiments and proved that the chemicals present in yeast cells help in fermentation. The chemicals produce yeast cells to produce 
fermentation. So, fourth one comes first, then, then zymase. To this ferments the term enzyme was given by Kune, but the term zymase was given by Edward Buchner. So, first up four will come next two, then crystallization of urease enzyme. Crystallization of urease enzyme is done by J B Sumner after the discovery of zymase enzyme. Finally, striatize an enzyme. Striatize an enzyme means a paper published for international symposium proving the protein nature of enzymes. It is done by J B S Holden. So, ferments first by Louis Pasteur, zymase next by Edward Buchner, crystallization of urease after Edward Buchner, J B Sumner and triatize on enzymes J B S Holden. So, according to the date or according to the time of the scientists or these are discovered. So, first comes ferments, then comes zymase, then comes crystallization of urease and finally comes triatize on enzymes. So, first option 4, 2, 3, 1. Arrange the following enzymes in reverse sequence of their optimum pH, reverse sequence top to bottom. First is trypsin 8, next is urease urease how much 7, next is peroxidase 5 and then pepsin 2. So, arrange the following enzymes in reverse sequence, reverse sequence means from top to bottom not in a perfect sequence in reverse sequence, reverse sequence always comes trypsin because it is 8, next comes urease because it is 7, amylase, urease, catalase it is 7, then comes peroxidase which is 5 and finally, pepsin which is 2. So, 2, 5, 7, 8 are the optimum pH of the enzymes and here it is in reverse direction means. So, for pepsin it is 2, for peroxidase it is 5, for amylase, urease, catalase it is 7 for trypsin it is 8. Reverse direction means like this. Arrange the following enzymes in reverse sequence of their optimum pH. First always comes trypsin, then comes urease, then peroxidase, then pepsin. So, in reverse sequence this is the answer. Here it is fourth one 3, 1, 4, In an experiment, 48,000 substrate molecules are added with 40 enzyme molecules. Even though enzymes are with their maximum activity, only 75 percent of substrate is converted into products in 20 seconds. What is the turnover number of that enzyme? 48,000 so only 75 percent is converted. How many enzyme molecules? 40 enzyme molecules are taken. Time taken is 20 seconds. We have to convert it into 1 minute. After converting into 1 minute, we have to take only 1 enzyme, then we will get turnover number. Once the turnover number we got, then we can use this for 75 percent of 48,000 molecules. The answer will be, the enzyme turnover number answer will be 2,000 or 2 lakhs 70,000. 48 lakh substrate molecules are added with 40 enzyme molecules, even though enzymes are with their maximum activity only 75 percent of the substrates are converted into products in 20 seconds. What is the turnover number of that enzyme means 2 lakh 70 thousands here. The formula we have to take enzyme by substrate into time. We have to take only 75 percent of 48 lakhs and 40 enzyme molecules are taken into one enzyme molecule and 20 seconds is converted into minutes. Then we will get turnover number answer will be 2 lakhs 70 thousands will be the enzyme turnover number. So, these are the chapters mineral nutrition and enzymes. Almost all important aspects we have touched, some are missed like competitive inhibitors, non-competitive inhibitors and allosteric inhibitors is missed here. Classification, basics, properties, everything. Competitive inhibitor is malonic acid and succinic acid competing for the same succinic dehydrogenase. Non-competitive inhibitors like cyanides and azides which blocks the active sites. Allosteric means 
whenever substrates get accumulated enzymes does not show their activity that is not explained. Now, another ex not explained is enzyme activity. <laughs> it is explained by what you called lock and key hypothesis proposed by Emil Fisher and proved by Fields and Woods. So, these are some of the important aspects regarding enzymes and mineral nutrition. In the next class, we discuss most important chapters photosynthesis, respiration, nitrogen metabolism, protein synthesis, phytohormones. So, this is today's class regarding mineral nutrition and enzymes. All the best.